I'm Terry Clark, and I'm going to tell you the five country songs that you have got to hear at least once. Number five, Good Old Boys Like Me by Don Williams. It paints a picture like nothing I've ever listened to. You, you really get that feeling um, that you're just there. The quintessential Southern literature put to melody. Which brings me to my number four song, who was, which was also written by Bob McDill. It's a song that Dan Seals recorded called Everything That Glitters Is Not Gold. A single dad raising his daughter, the daughter's mother, she went off to become a famous rodeo queen and left him and his child, left him to raise this little girl. Very few songs make me cry every time on the hundredth listen, but that's one of those songs that does that. Number three, let me check what number three is, hold on. <laughs> My number three must listen to country song would be The Dance by Garth Brooks. That's about, you know, you, you've got to go through the pain and the things in life that aren't pleasant. And sometimes you're, you're glad you don't know what's coming because then you wouldn't do the things that, that you do. You, you would miss the dance. And then Garth's uh, delivery of that is, is so pure and authentic and you can just feel it when he's singing it. Number two is a song that is a little more recent, Miranda Lambert, The House That Built Me. That song reminds me of the house that I grew up in in Medicine Hat. And I remember going back to that house with my mom after I became a successful artist and just all these memories about me coming up and singing with my guitar when she was making dinner. It's true that where you grow up in, in that, it, it may be brick and mortar, but it holds so much more in your soul. First time I heard that song, I was like, oh my God, I wish I had written that song and I just love it. Number one, not necessarily that these are all in this order, I think, that are the greatest songs. I love Live Like You Were Dying, uh, Tim McGraw. It's about a guy who's, you know, in his early 40s and he's given this news and he's like, what am I going to do with this? You know, what am I going to do with what, I, what time I have left? And Tim McGraw's got such a powerful, again, emotive performance and, and it was right around when he, his dad was ill and, and he was losing his dad. It made a lot of sense for him as an artist to record and his delivery is just impeccable. Thank you. Yeah, thanks guys. Yeah, Are we done? Yeah. Hey, I'm Tom Power. Thanks so much for watching our video. I do want to let you know that you can watch one video there, watch another video right there, and you can subscribe by clicking that button and leave a comment down below. We'll see you later.